Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Marvel Champions. I am continuing, obviously, my Rise of the Red Skull ch campaign run with uh, Agent Venom. Or just Venom, rather. He's, I mean, he's Agent Venom to me. Up against Taskmaster. Uh, after a player changes to hero form, they discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage equal to the number of boost icons on the card. He has 13 HP. Hunting down heroes, contents, that is done, as well as the two additional things here that are just copies, but I tell you, I'll promise you right now, they are in the deck. Look at that, look at that right there. Give that a shuffle. Set each captive ally aside, that's these guys over here. Search the encounter deck for Hydra Patrol and put it into play and shuffle the encounter deck. So Hydra Patrol is... Uh, I don't know why I have one threat on this already. Uh, each player searches the encounter deck and discard a pile for a Hydra enemy. Uh, fight a Hydra minion and puts into play, engage with them, shuffle the encounter deck. And it has that symbol, which I'm pretty sure means uh, it's Crisis, which if I knew what... I think it means I can't do anything to the main the scheme while the side scheme is in play. Yes, that is accurate. Uh, so there's two threat on here. So I'm going to flip this card. There's only one this one, which is uh, plus one. So first response, after resolving step one of the villain phase, each player in hero form uh, must choose to either take one damage or place one threat here. If this stage is completed, the players lose the game. So there is one threat starting. That must have been why that was already there. And I think otherwise we are set up and good to go. Uh, we have the uh, basic attack upgrade, so we get plus one hit point. That's why we're at 13. And uh, I just want to say before I get started, thank you guys for your support on the previous Marvel Champions videos. Super awesome of you. I I, I can't go up to... I, I am planning on getting up to two Marvel Champions videos a week in the near future. Uh, however, we don't have a current spot for it in the channel. So it's going to be a few weeks until we actually see it. But I promise it will be coming. Now... Let's resolve our opening mulligan. We get to draw six cards here. Okay. Project Rebirth is a great thing to start with. Helicarrier is also awesome. We don't need two of them. We also probably don't want this drop kit right off the bat. Um, the multi-gun is very strong, but it's very expensive. But, like, it is very strong. This is tricky. This is tricky. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to play Mockingbird turn one as much as we want to. I think it's just, we want to, like, look for things that'll help us play these guys. So, I don't know if this was the right choice, but it was the choice I made. I am still learning the mulligans. I appreciate all the help, by the way. Uh, we're going to discard till we discard a weapon. But I do appreciate all the help from you lovely viewers at home to teach me how to uh, get better at this game, as well as the tips for how to best do that. I do think because of our ability with um, Venom, we do have a good shot at, at, you know, being able to take advantage of this hand. And I think actually this hand is look is starting to look pretty, is pretty, pretty okay. Uh, so we're not going to be using this dropkick at all, so I'm actually going to use that to play this Project Rebirth. And we're going to use that immediately to draw another card. Alright, so then we got our Alter Ego action out of the way. We can start doing some human stuff, some hero stuff. So we are going to take a damage to gain a star resource and use this Genius to play the Helicarrier. We want that heli Helicarrier, it's going to do good work for us. Getting it out on turn one is pretty spicy. So we're going to reduce the cost of this to two, and I am going to play that right now, because I think this is going to get us going a bit quicker than this, especially considering we are going to be attacking this turn, um, and we're going to be, so we're going to use this to remove the threat from this scheme, otherwise we would not be able to do that with Venom. So I think this is a pretty alright start. We are going to use the multi-gun to clear... Oh, sorry, we have to also do this. We'll take two damage. Uh, after we switched... I, did, I was talking through my turn, I just forgot about that. But after a player changed to Hero Foam, they discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage equal to the number of boost icons on that card. So we are going to use this to remove two threat from this scheme. And then we're going to search the encounter deck and discard a pile for a Hydra minion and put it into play. Okay. 
Okay, who do we have here? This guy is, they're so big. There's two. Four is tough. We're looking for, like, if anyone has three. All right. We are going to just grab the uh, Incite one. So when he appears, he puts a threat on the main scheme. Hello. Uh, we're going to use uh, Agent Venom to just get rid of him. Okay. So now we end our turn. So we discard any number of cards. I want to keep the weapon. And then we draw up to our hand size. So our hand size is five, so we're going to draw four cards. Okay. Interesting. All right. Um, everything, we're going to ready everything, which is zoop. Look at that, so cool. All right, now we go to the villain phase, which uh, is we place a threat on the main scheme. After threat is placed here, uh, we're going to take one damage. I think we're okay with taking one damage right now. We're looking pretty comfortable. This guy is then going to attack us. So we're going to give him a boost card. I swear that they, they're... The button exists sometimes, and then it also doesn't exist sometimes. But that's okay. So he's going to attack us for two. We're not defending. We're going to take four and go to five. This is kind of what I expected to have happen, so I'm not too concerned yet. Our evil card is a Hydra regular, which uh, I will admit is a little bit annoying, but luckily I think we can still get out of this okay. I think Venom is very strong, and I think it's going to be nice. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually start with this energy to drop this Hall of Heroes out. I think there are going to be a lot of minions here, and I think this one's going to be a little bit of a longer combat than the other one. We obviously don't want it to be too long, but that is okay. All right. Sorry, and this guy incited, I got that. Yes, all right. So, um, we are going to uh, attack him and nuke this guy, get him out of here. Which is going to put a token on our, uh, not our Project Rebirth, on our Helicarrier. Yum. And then, not on our Helicarrier, what the heck am I doing? On our Hall of Heroes. There we go, we got there, we got there eventually. I'm going to remove two threat from this scheme. So we're not getting any progress on Mr. Taskmaster, but that's just life. Uh, we can reduce this. We're going to put this out. I can't use this this I Obviously, I had no benefit from using this this turn. But next turn, assuming what we draw, we can put four damage on Taskmaster, which sounds like a good time. Uh, we can't take advantage of this yet. I'm probably going to be discarding one of these, but we are going to flip into hero mode. And I'm going to use this to heal three from me. Honestly, the Project Rebirth is going to be very clutch here because it'll allow us to activate as... Um, Activate and like we don't need to actually recover. So having that on the first turn seems really good. This is also um, Kind of a killer hand. I think I think this hand is kind of nice Okay, what's ready? Boop. All right, boom uh, Yeah, we'll just put another one Oh, he's player in hero form. We don't even need to. He's not even hunting us down right now. He's like, I don't care about you, Flash Thompson. I only want me some Venom. This guy's going to scheme for one, plus one is two. So this is going to go to five. That is a little bit spooky. I'm not going to lie. That is a tiny bit spooky. But luckily, depending on what we draw here, we can use Spider-Man to get out of this. Uh, let's go like that. Energy shield. Touch the villain, they gain retaliate one. That is a little bit unfortunate. However, it definitely could be worse. It definitely could be worse. All right. We're going to start with a heal. Get us up to 11. We are going to switch into hero mode. So then we discard the top card of the deck. We take one damage. That's honestly actually probably the best it could have been. That retaliate one is going to be mildly annoying. But I think what we want to do is we want to... Worry about the threat, but also get some damage on the guy. Savage attack isn't too necessary. Um, press the advantage is not what we're looking for right now. So I think getting the other gun out is going to be our, uh, a good start. Because then that allows us to attack for a lot. 
And I think we actually maybe want to run and gun this turn. Because then we can kind of do a bit of both. What do we need to get rid of this? Is it maybe better to get rid of the Retaliate? We can play Spider-Man and use him. I think that is actually probably a better line. Because it's going to save us a lot of damage in the future. So rather than put a lot of damage on him now. And take some damage in the process. We're going to put some damage on him now. We're still going to clear some threat off of this. I think this is pretty okay. So as a hero action. I'm going to spend. Um, oh I guess I could actually spend my own ability. Couldn't I? Because we could spend. Um, this and that. Which allows me to keep running gun. Could we maybe just do both. And put Spider-Man out next turn? It's essentially like an, a retaliate. We can do two off of this. And then we can do three off of that. Put that down to zero. And then we can ready it, deal two damage and attack. That's actually a lot better. Okay, so we're going to generate a wild with our ability. And we're going to use this to get rid of this card. So we'll spend this to get rid of the that thing. We are then going to clear the three off of this. Ooh, do we need to go to zero? It's probably more comfy to go to zero. We do have 12. But I mean, if we can get to zero... Like, because this is still going to be a really good turn. We can then use Strength and Savage Attack to play Run and Gun, which allow us to ready Venom on each, upgrade, on each weapon upgrade we control. So, we can now deal 2 damage to Taskmaster. And then we can attack for 2, 3, 4, 5. Honestly, I'm gonna, I think that was pretty good. I think that was a good way of going about that. If need be, we can always go back and use Project Rebirth next turn. I do think we have a pretty nice setup going on. So we're going to just draw up to five. So we're going to draw four cards. We are going to be getting a double card soon. Uh, that seems really nice. Bug, I also have been really enjoying. I've been really enjoying Bug. He just is like a little, like, he just gets the job done. He's that extra one to get over the Asphaloth thump, hump if it exists in this game. But we're going to ready everything. We're going to place the threat on the main scheme. Which we're going to have it be another threat. This guy's then going to attack us for two. We're not going to defend. We'll take four. And now here's that risk that I was pointed out. That maybe an extra attack can get there. But we have a Hydra Hunter. Hydra Hunter's attack is gained piercing and ranged uh, boost. If you're in hero form, take one damage. All right, that's totally okay. Hydra Hunter, totally okay. So I think this turn we're going to aim for another, another switch if we can swing it, I think. So we should have actually grabbed this guy instead of the inside guy because we, ha we have the juice to get him. Okay, let's talk through our turn again. So I think we do want to go back and Project Rebirth because then we can heal up to 10. Assuming we're going to take a damage here, which I kind of want to take a damage here. Spider-Man, he can go to 4 attack. or Yeah, he can go to 4 attack. We realistically want to use Venom to attack Taskmaster because we can put him down to 1. Which is good because then next turn we can use Bug to finish him off and get to the new wave with a whole turn ahead of us. So I think that's our plan here. So, I think we want Spider-Man. We're going to Helicarrier out. I'm going to take a damage and we're going to do a behind enemy lines. And we're going to bring out Spider-Man and we want him on... Do we want Spider-Man? Go back in time. I think at the very least we want Bug. I think Bug is 100% coming out here. And we want Bug to deal one damage to this guy. And then we use... And then he takes a damage. And then we use the multi-gun to deal two damage to this enemy. Bumping up the Hall of Heroes. When we make a, oh no, sorry, we're going to do our basic attack now. So it's three, four, five. So we can put him down to one. And then after we make a basic attack, we heal the damage from bug. Okay. 
Oh, we should have actually paid for this instead. Okay. We should have done this because we could have got rid of that. So I think we actually still, awkwardly enough, we don't play Spider-Man. But instead, we want, we're going to get this out. I healed you. I could have done this. I think I could, I should have done, like, use this to pay for bug. We could have done this to remove two threat from this. And we could have confused Taskmaster, which would have been more optimal. But an important part about getting better is finding the lines that you missed. Um, I do think we want to keep one of these behind enemy lines, and I'm sorry, Spider-Man, but you got to go. I think it's just, I think this is going to do more for us. We are going to switch over here, and we're going to heal three. We're then going to draw up to hand size, which is going to be five cards. Uh, perfect timing on this guy, for sure. <laughs> All right, uh, let's ready everything. All right, this comes here. We are then going to, he is going to scheme for one, just one. Perfect. Uh, we then will draw our evil card, which is the exosuit. Plus one attack, plus one health. So we do want to get rid of this exosuit on him when we have the moment. But right now, we're just going to heal three. No, sorry, we're going to heal three with the project Rebirth. And then we flip over. So uh, after hero change to hero form, they discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage equal to the number of boost icons. Zero damage. We're going to have Bug get the killing blow on Taskmaster. So we're going to advance. Bye. One reveal deal each player an encounter card. All right. Zoop. All right, so now he has three attack. So that's a lot of attack. That do be a good chunk of attack. He has 16 health as well. So... All right. Well, I'm going to use the power of aggression to play that. So now we have plus one attack. So we have four attack printed on, like printed attack on our character. We can get up to six, which is a lot of damage, which is a lot of damage. The question is, how worried are we about this, right? Okay, one second. Let's do some math. We can attack for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can put him down to one. We can put him down to one and defend with bug, and then we pretty much just don't... We can survive two attacks. We do have an extra card here. So is it better to be careful, right? Is it better to be careful? Because we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus five. We're just one short of killing him this turn. We're just one short. Three attack. I mean, I think we can still just do the majority of it, right? Like, we're not using this. I mean, we're going to attack. We're attacking him right now. Like, this isn't changing. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, that's not changing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's, that is staying the same. That is how it is. That is how it's going to be. The question is... Do we get rid of this? I don't think we do. I think we just accept it. We're going to draw on counter cards. We could die, but we have... Even if we take three attacks, I think we're going to be okay. As one of the commenters pointed out, the only way you lose is by surprise attacks and surprise schemes. Scheming, I'm not worried about. We're doing comfortable there. Attacks, that's the scary one. We have Bug to jump block. By the way, Bug, congratulations, you've healed. So I think we do go for it, right? So we reduce the cost of this by one. We're going to pay for that with this one, which is now going to be our...
Do we do that? I did my math wrong. I haven't used my ability yet this turn. All right, well, we're going to remove three threat from a scheme, and because we only played with um, blue, we confuse an enemy. All right, we can deal six damage. An attack event. We'll take a damage. We're going to deal five. Now, I could just, in theory, do that next turn. Ooh, we're going to have three encounter cards. Okay, this is a bit of a risk, but I do feel confident in it. I do feel confident in it. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So then we're ready. I mean, in theory, we can even defend, right? All right, so this guy's going to scheme... We're going to, sorry, the threat's going to go on here. We're going to place another threat here. This guy is going to attack us for two, for three. Bug's going to defend against this one. That's a great card to see on the boost here. Bug, rest in peace, my brother, you are dead. I mean, you'll be back. You're a superhero. We ain't dead unless we see the body. We're then going to do a lookout, and let's see what we have. Number one, Hydra Soldier. You cannot attack the main minion. Uh, the main villain. Luckily, this is actually not an attack, so we actually can just still shoot Taskmaster. Number two, um, the, the, villain, the villain attacks you. If they have a weapon attachment, this card gains Surge. Okay, so this is, what, this is the thing we were talking about. This is what I was warned about. So we take three, four damage. So that's going to then Surge into a Hydra Soldier. And then the last card here is after minion enters play, give it a tough status card. Okay. Um, on the plus side, I think we are A-OK. -okay. Because this says, while this minion is engaged with you, you cannot attack the villain. So my reading of that... Sorry, just grab my rule book. Guard. Let's look at the guard keyword. While any minions of this keyword are engaged with a player, the player cannot attack villains without this keyword. <clears throat> but this gun, this thing doesn't say attack. Where if I looked at the action, that says attack. Use basic attack. Okay. I'm going to just look in my deck for a second. This says attack. Hero action, attack. Okay, that's literally in parentheses. Give that a shuffle. Yeah, I think we can just do this to finish him off. Why are you exhausted? Yeah, I mean, even if we had to defend, we could have used these, right? So, like, let's just say that didn't work. I think that does work, right? Like, that just finishes them off. But, like, we can just, like, play a what-if turn, right? Because we can use our basic attack, which is four, which is enough to defeat this guy. We do get an encounter card, but that's okay. So this is kind of like a what-if right now. Uh, we do get to put something on this, which we're then going to spend exhausted and remove three glory counters to draw three cards. Oh, yeah, and then we can just use this to deal two damage. We can use this to deal two damage. This guy's done. And we get another encounter card, and we can shoot him with this. So either way, no matter what, it was gold. It was golden. It was golden. All right, we're counting that as a win. We even got rid of the guards just in case I couldn't. If I was, if this, I think this this just works. This gets, this bypasses guard because it does not say attack. If that is the case, and I was correct with that, Please let me know in the comments. I do appreciate the help with it. All right, so our campaign is done. Where is my rule book? Because I'm having more fun reading through that than the digital rule book. All right. Victory. Each player... What the frick? How do you rescue people? Is it a card? Oh, it is. It's this one. When you will place one random set aside captive ally face down beneath the scheme. When the scheme is defeated, the player who defeated it takes that ally into their hand 
and removes this scheme from the game. Okay, so we just missed the window. Cool. We've done it. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching this episode of Marvel Champions. I do appreciate your comments on the video. They are very nice, and it makes me feel excited to play the game and learn the game and get better at the game. I did also enjoy your advice because it allowed me to talk through my turns a little bit more here, which was very crucial for me finding what I thought were some of the more optimal lines. Of course, I didn't play perfect, um, but I am learning and having a great time. And uh, your guys' enthusiasm makes me want to play the game more, so thank you for that. We'll see you guys for the next episode where we're going up against Zola. Arnim Zola, who I actually have not beaten yet. I've only fought him once with Captain America, so I'm excited to play him again. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll be back very soon. At this point, it's still going to be weekly, but I am hoping to add another episode into the channel uh, schedule soon. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, GG's.